Hi everybody, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan, and today I'm featuring um, the Floral Essence Bundle, and let me show you that. Um, the new catalog is now out, and I'm so excited. There's many great bundles in there. Um, if you have not received a catalog yet, if you would private message me, I would make sure to get you one out if you don't already have a demonstrator. Um, I apologize, I know what page it is. Okay, so it's the Perennial Essence Suite, and it comes with this gorgeous paper, and then this stamp set, and it coordinates with this um, petal punch. And so um, I submitted an application to be on the Lovely Stampers design team, and I was selected, and this was the stamp set that was provided for me to play with. Now, I will be honest, I would never have picked this up. I didn't buy the paper. I buy all the paper usually when the catalog comes out. I did not buy this paper. I wasn't loving it. But the more I played with this set, the more I kind of fell in love with it. So that's what you get for stepping outside the box and creating with things. But I created this cute little um, bag purse, and it's got a magnet closure. And um, it was originally, the design idea is from Poodles in the UK, but I'm gonna show you how to make this great floating um, frame technique. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to bring in our Stampin' Trimmer. And then we need some cardstock that is cut at six and a half by seven and a quarter. And you're gonna score it on the seven and a quarter inch side at three. So I put my cardstock here at the three and we're gonna score and then at four and a quarter. So I slid it to the four and a quarter and then score. And then on the short inch, short side, which is the six and a half inch side, we're gonna score it at one and a quarter and five and a quarter. Okay. Then we need a piece um, of that same color for a handle. And what I, um, cut is a six inch piece by one and a quarter and then I cut another little piece um, that was six inches by one inch just to put in the middle of there. I went ahead and pre-cut out um, the images that we're going to use for the floating frame and then there's also some magnets that we're going to be using that are very thin that are perfect for paper crafting and um, I will link those in this description here when I post this video. But here's the stamp set. Um, I love, just loved it after playing with it. So I have to totally take my words back on all, all this stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer my handle pieces together. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna add tear and tape just because um, there's gonna be a bend to the handle and I don't want um, the glue to take it apart. So I'm gonna flip over that pineapple punch piece of paper, piece of cardstock, and then I'm gonna put two strips down it. And we're going to attach that to the Calypso Coral color. Those are the color combos that I went with here. Actually, I take that back. It is not Calypso Coral, I used Grapefruit Grove. So Grapefruit Grove and um, pineapple punch. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just gonna kinda go like this. Just kinda slightly give it a little bit of a twirl, okay? Then we're gonna set that aside. Next I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna burnish all my score lines. And what that does is it breaks down the fibers in the cardstock and it gives you a crisp, clear edge And then I'm gonna keep it with the long side up and I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna cut up on the score line and then wedge out on the little square. 
So I cut up on the score line and I wedge out on the little square. Do the same thing on the other side. Cut up on the score line and then wedge out. And what that does is it helps us when we create a box to give a nice crisp corner. There's not too much bulk there. Okay, now we're just gonna set that aside for just a moment. And now you're gonna come in with a piece of pineapple punch cardstock and it is cut at three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then what I pre-did is I pre-stamped some images, okay? So what I'm gonna do actually first is I'm going to glue the leaves behind some of these images. So I used Granny Apple Green, Grapefruit Grove, and Pineapple Punch. And I'm gonna glue the leaves on each of these um, flower pieces. And you could put the leaves all different ways. And I'm just adding a tiny bit of glue um, just onto the stem of the, just like that. So then what I'm gonna do, so there's two flowers that I'm not putting anything on because those are gonna be my edge flowers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully label these flowers, or not label them, put the flowers onto this pineapple punch piece of paper. Then I'm going to They're not glued down, so you just got to be careful how you're placing them. Okay. I'm liking how I did that there. I'm gonna actually switch this like this, I think. There we go. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're gonna come in with some Glad Press and Seal. And you wanna cut a piece that's the size of your cardstock there. And of course, this is going to be a little bit bigger because it's a small piece. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna carefully, uh-oh, see? I moved it. You're gonna carefully place your tear in, or your press and seal over the flowers. I have lots of static there. There we go. And you're gonna press that down really nice and tight. Just like that. Okay, then you're gonna lift that up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut off my excess press and seal, and I'm just gonna cut along the edge of this pineapple punch piece of paper. So I'm gonna even cut off those flowers that are hanging off the edge. And we're gonna use some of those that cut off. It's like, I would like to get some stuff in this corner here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully take off this back paper. Which then keeps my flowers in place. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with a couple of these pieces that I, um, cut off. So let's see what this looks like here. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. 
Okay, and I'm gonna trim those off again. Okay, now while it's still on that press and seal, what you're going to do is, I'm gonna throw away that press and seal that we're not using. I'm gonna come in with my dimensionals and I'm gonna add dimensionals all over the back here. And you might need to get out your mini ones to do a couple like that, the leaves there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple small ones there. And I'm gonna add one here. You wanna make sure you have lots of dimensionals covering so that when you pop this up, it has that floating frame effect on your um, piece of cardstock there. Simple, easy technique. Okay, just a couple more here. And then, um, then you're going to take the backs off all of your little pieces there. Add one more dimensional right there. Okay. So now you're gonna come in and what I do is I put my finger pressed down and that kind of starts getting the backing off of them. And they should be easy to lift. Yep. Almost done here. This is the most time consuming part of the whole project, huh? Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna carefully place your piece of paper right on top of that. Making sure that all those pieces are stuck down with the dimensionals. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to peel up the press and seal. And see how it just comes right up? And you have your design all perfect. This flower though got a little off kilter. There we go. Let me just trim the edge there. There we go. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add tear and tape to the middle of these two squares. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put tear and tape on just one side of those long rectangles. And this is gonna be my front, the, the side that has the tear and tape. I'm also gonna add two strips to one end of my handle, just like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue my pineapple punch piece to the front of my card. So let's make sure that this is the side with the tear and tape, it is. And I'm going to put that right there in the center, just like so, okay. 
Then I'm going to take off this tearing tape onto the edges here. Okay, so now I'm going to take the side that doesn't have the tear and tape, which is this back side, and I'm going to flip this up first and form a corner, okay, and do the same thing on this side. Now this is our front, so we're going to take off the tear and tape. going to push this back down just like that whoops dang it I let up too quick oh there we go I wanted to get that even okay now I'm gonna just press those corners in just like that so there's your little bag okay and then I'm gonna take the tear and tape off the back handle and I'm gonna add it here to the back, right in the center. Now these are the magnets and they're very strong magnets. Like I said, I will link them on um, this description, but they're thin, so they're perfect for paper crafting and they're very, very strong. I got them on Amazon. Uh-oh, did I lose my little pieces? I think I did. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to add a little glue here and then one right here in the center of this flower. And you're gonna set them on so that they can dry And you want to give it ample time to dry because they're very strong, like I said. Let me go ahead and put, actually, I'm going to put my stapler right there so that it keeps that down. We'll let that dry for a moment. And then, um, let's see here. Oh, I used all the flowers. I used a flower here on this one. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do a little ribbon with the granny apple green. Let's do a little tiny ribbon bow that we'll add to the front of our little bag, make it just a tiny bit different. Okay, let that dry for just a moment. See, it's still kind of full. I'm gonna go ahead and put tear and tape on the back of my bow here. And then get that backing ready. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around, then I'll add that bow right there in the center. Let's see if these are glued. And then you just have your closure. Whoops, see it's not, it wasn't glued all the way. But you get the point. I'm gonna hold it there for a few minutes. They're very strong magnets. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna, well, I'm finishing up with you. So if you guys would like to see more projects featuring the Floral Essence um, stamp set, please follow me on my blog. It will be listed here in the description. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you again next week. Bye-bye.